Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today I'm reviewing the Model Y from Electric Bike Company. Let's check it out. This winter, I had the chance to visit Electric Bike Company along with my wife, where we tested out a couple of their e-bike models and saw their local California-based manufacturing firsthand. The Model Y, this powder blue beauty here in front of me, is their popular women's e-bike, though I think both my wife and I enjoyed riding it equally. The step-through frame gives it that classic women's bike look, but it will appeal to anyone who enjoys these low-slung cruiser frames. And it may look old school, but it's got modern e-bike tech, including a color LCD screen and a 1000 watt peak rated motor in back. That's enough for 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour of speed, making for a quite thrilling ride when you really open it up. One of the unique features of the Model Y, and something that helps give it that nice clean look, is that the battery is built right into the bottom of the basket. You'd never realize it's up there if you didn't know to look for it. The bikes are all 48 volts, and the base level comes with a 432 watt hour battery, but you can upgrade to a double sized 864 watt hour battery if you want to double your range and ride time. They call those two options the 40 mile and the 80 mile batteries, but that's if you're riding leisurely with pedal assist. That's easy to do as the bikes are super comfortable and they feature giant 58 tooth chain rings that make them even more comfortable to pedal at full speed so your feet are not spinning like a food processor. But the inclusion of a throttle is too much fun to resist sometimes and so I often found myself just cruising along on throttle only. The bike tips the scales at 58 pounds or 26 kilos, which is not lightweight, but it's also not overly heavy, especially compared to the rest of the industry. It was a bit big on my wife, who likes to be able to flat foot it at stops, but we also had the optional suspension fork installed on this model, which raises the bike a bit. You can also get 24 inch wheels instead of these 26 inchers, which lowers the bike even more. For someone who's short like my wife at 5 foot 3 or 160 centimeters, the smaller wheels might be a nice option to choose. Speaking of options, that's one of the coolest features of the electric bike company and the Model Y specifically, that you can make it ultra customized. You can choose from tons of paint colors on every surface, from the frame to the basket, chain guard, fenders, rack, etc. You can add all sorts of accessories like storage options. You can see we've got the rear basket on this one, which is another reason that the step through frame is nice so you don't have to swing a leg over that tall basket. Then you've got other options, like that beautiful wooden chain guard and fender set. It's made locally in the company's wood shop and the attention to detail really shines through. At a starting price of $1,949, the Model Y feels very fairly priced to me. Just shy of two grand is certainly more than many of the budget e-bikes shipped straight from China, but this isn't that. Not only are the bikes built locally in California, and thus you're paying American wages for American workers, but you're also getting other benefits, like the fact that the bikes ship fully assembled. They use custom cut foam to properly protect the bikes and help them arrive ready to ride. Unlike most e-bikes that require 30 to 60 minutes of assembling parts out of the box and hoping you did it right. Plus, the extreme oversight of construction means that Electric Bike Company can offer better warranties. The battery comes with a 5-year warranty, which is like unheard of, then they double that for the frame and motor, offering a 10-year warranty. So basically, they've got your back. And the customer service team is local too, so if you ever do need support or service, you're not waiting on an answer from halfway around the world. So between the local manufacturing and the nice quality parts, like the hydraulic disc brakes and the super comfy cruiser saddle, the bike feels like a great option to scratch that electric cruiser bike itch. The one thing that wasn't super comfortable for me was that the giant cruiser bars curve back so much that my hands are sort of angled back. I guess I'm really used to straight bars, and so to have my wrist angled feels a bit foreign, but I just don't ride cruisers that often, so perhaps that's why. Other than that, the bike feels great to ride, it's great to look at, and it's an all-around solid option from a company that really impressed me with their attention to detail. There are a ton of options out there on the e-bike market today, and so you really have to do something special to differentiate yourself. 
That's exactly what electric bike company has achieved. There's something refreshingly different in a sea of imported e-bikes, and I respect that. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Model Y from Electric Bike Company. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time. So take me out to California where the sun